हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व पार्ट एट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड हेयर द एन एच टर्म इज गिवन टू यू एस फोर द कॉमन डिफरेंस इज गिवन टू यू एस टू एंड द सम ऑफ एन टर्म्स इज गिवन टू यू एस माइनस फोर्टीन यू हैव टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स इन दिस एपी एंड द फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ दिस एपी सो हेयर द टू फाइंड आउट द एन एच टर्म वी हैव अ फॉर्मूला So this is the formula for finding an h term, and an h term is given to you as four, and first n into n minus one into common difference, which is given to you as four. So this is equals to four a. This is two n minus two. So this is the first equation we have. Now the Sum of n terms is given to you to find the sum of n terms. We have a formula which says n by two two a plus n minus one into d. So this is the first formula to find the sum. There is another formula when the nth term is given to you, or you can say the last term is given to you. So. This is the formula where a n is the last term. So this is another formula to find out the sum of n terms. We'll use this formula here. The sum of n terms is given to you as minus fourteen and n by two a, and the last term is given to you as four. So further solving this, this can be cross multiplied here. So this will become minus twenty eight is equals to now. This is n multiplied by a plus four. Now, from equation, this is our second equation. Now, from equation first and from equation second, what can do? What what we can do is we can substitute the value of any variable from one equation to another equation, so that we'll get our answer. Now, this equation can be solved further. I can sub, uh, shift this constant to this side, and this will become four. And minus two n shifted to this side will become plus two. And this is a plus two n. Now, this can also be shifted here. This is minus two n is equals to a. So the value of a here is six minus two n. So I can substitute the value of a as this in this equation. So this equation will become minus twenty eight is equals to n, and in place of a, I can write six minus two n plus four. So this equation will become twenty eight minus n. This will become ten minus two n. Solving this equation, n multiplied by ten will be ten n, and n multiplied by two n will be two n square. Now I can shift this values here. So this will become 2n square minus 10n minus 28 equals to zero. If I take two as a common and I I can shift this two to that side and zero upon something will be zero. And taking two common, so this will become 5n and this will become 14 is equals to zero. So this is the quadratic equation. If I can solve this equation, I get the value of n here. Now. How to solve a quadratic equation? So to solve this quadratic equation, I have to split this middle term into two parts such that their multiplication must be fourteen, and the subtraction of those two number must be five. So clearly, those two number must be seven n and two n, because seven multiplied by two is fourteen, and the subtraction of these two is Five. So I have splitted middle term into two such parts. If you are not able to think of these two numbers orally, what you can do is you can factorize this fourteen. So if I factorize this fourteen, so this will be two into seven. So and seven into one. So these two are the factors of fourteen. So clearly the subtraction of these two is five. So further solving this equation, this will become n square minus there is um, the sign. Is minus outside the bracket, so inside both the sign must be changed. 
this plus will become negative negative will become plus and i can take n as common so n minus 7 will remain inside the bracket and if i take 2 as common so n minus 7 will remain inside the bracket now factors of uh, there are two terms and in both the terms n minus 7 is a common term so if i take n minus 7 as common so from the first term only n and the from the second only 2 will remain inside the bracket and this is equal to 0 so here the multiplication of two terms and the result is 0 means the value of either of these two terms must be 0 then only multiplication of these must be 0 so if I consider the first term as 0 so the value of n will become 7 now if I consider the the second term as 0 so the value of n will be minus 2 so this I have already explained the number of in, in, in the number in any terms cannot be negative so there must be seven terms in this AP so I have calculated the number of terms as seven now you have to calculate the first term of this AP to find out the first term I can put the value of n in this first equation so so if if I substitute the value of n here I'll get the value of a so this will be 4 is equals to a and here the value of n is 7 so 7 minus 1 into d and the value of d is 2 so this is 4 a this is 6 7 minus 1 is 6 and 6 into 2 is 12 so here a will be equals to 4 minus 12 so the value of a must be equals to minus 8 so the first term of this ap must be equals to minus 8 so this is how we can solve this question. I hope you have understood this video clearly. If you have any problem in maths, you can contact to us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Or you can check the videos on fundamental we have, uh, where we have explained every topic to you. Thank you.